Yes, it's possible to play a video game and physically feel it as though you were there with some really weird new technology. Also, a guy was able to control somebody else's body and feel through their hand. You guys ready to hear about the next generation of brain chips? This technology does come out of research around paralysis. When people are paralyzed, it's often because they've physically lost the connection between their spine and other parts of the body. Of course, we have seen with certain kinds of chips, you can bypass stuff like eyesight and just take a picture and send it to the rest of your brain and it will believe that it's seeing it because it's pretty much the same mechanism. Why not other sensations? Why not touch? And that's what this group did. This is Keith Thomas. He's paralyzed from the neck down. He had a procedure in which electrodes were placed in his brain. These electrodes have bi-directional flow, meaning they can also communicate with the brain in addition to doing what a lot of the technology we've seen so far does, which is reading the brain and sending that off. There's a computer interface that will need to read the recordings and send them back. This technique is very similar to what's being done with brain organoids, how they bi-directionally communicate between grown brains and use them for computation. The electrodes record what the brain is going to be doing when it thinks about moving or touching. It can also take information from other people who have functional nervous systems and also record what it should look like. And then they zap the brain and it feels like he is touching something. You can use this to control an avatar, meaning it could control a computer game character and as they touch stuff, it's zapping your brain so you feel it. And yes, it worked to control another person. A woman who is able-bodied has the same electrodes that's used to record information for the body attached to her arm. Meanwhile, our friend with the brain chip is then thinking about moving the hand so it can grasp something like a ball. He's able to stimulate her arm to move and grasp with electrical impulses, and then he can feel the sensation that she is feeling, essentially, because it's encoded, zapped back into his brain, and the sensors are perceiving that touch. I know, incredibly wild. This could and probably will be used for video games, although it's a wee bit invasive. It is, of course, the first time that a brain chip has been able to take in information and give it back. So streaming music to your brain is apparently not out of the question. This also has a lot of applications for recovery from injury, not just getting around injury. Learning to use your body again can be very difficult when you're in the recovery process, and this could provide sensation so people can get used to using a limb. This could easily allow prosthetics to have actual sensation and control directly in the brain, which is awesome. This actually would be the situation where you could have a prosthetic hand take it off and have it run around. That would be far more feasible with this kind of tech. This is something that I love to see. It's technology that will definitely change people's lives. And yes, it will be used in entertainment, of course, but this is the serious quality of life upgrade. I haven't been excited for brain chips in a long time because I have never seen something like this. One of the big flaws with brain chips is that they're generally not bidirectional. So a lot of the stuff that you can get out of one could also be done by an EEG that's not invasive. I have read some papers recently about non-invasive options for that bi-directional flow, but nothing like this. We're talking MRI kind of technology, and it's not going to be able to give a sensation. This really is a massive leap forward, and I'm excited to see where it goes. How about you?